In this example, we're using the proper subset notation. So this is very similar to the notation for a subset, but notice it doesn't have the line under it anymore. A proper subset is one that belongs inside a larger set, and it's not equal to that other set. So for instance, in the first one, 0, 1, and 2 all come from the integers, and it's not all of the integers, so it is a proper subset. On the other hand, in part b, the two sets are equal, 0, 1, and 2. That's all of the integers that are greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 2. So because those sets are equal, the one on the left is a subset, but it's not a proper subset. So we'll put a slash through the proper subset symbol. A proper subset, again, means that it's a subset and it's not equal. It's a subset and the one that contains it is bigger or contains at least one more element than the subset contains.